In this episode, you join us for one of our most remote stretches yet into Death Valley, where we say goodbye to the long winter and get our first taste of the desert heat. The route we drew up takes us 339 miles from Tonopah to Las Vegas via nearly the entire length of Death Valley, the USA's largest national park south of Alaska. We load up with 30 liters of water, roll with the tumbleweeds, and are forced to camp in our weirdest spot yet. But first, groceries. We're just packing up seven days of food. It's a lot of Kit Kats to get us to Death Valley. Can you tell me what's changed about your bike? Thank you, Daniel. Looking good. Por ahí dice un dicho que todo cabe sabiéndolo acomodar. What does that mean? Means that everything fits if you know how to put it well. Wow. Vamos. Our first section would take us up and over some desert hills and towards the little town of Silver Peak. We are now out of Tonopa. Um, so beautiful in here. Plant alert. Cactus. Beautiful. ¿Te gustan más los burritos o la pasta? La pasta. ¿Por qué? Pero necesitamos más agua y a veces no tenemos. Mm. Pobrecito. <laughs> Our last stop before setting off for Death Valley was Silver Peak, where some new friends are waiting for us. Peter and John run a channel called the RV Geeks, and they've been supporting our journey since the beginning. They've been living full-time on the road for over 20 years. With them was their friends Tom and Kate, who are also on YouTube, so they had lots of good advice for us. We ended up meeting right next to this weird ranch that had camels. Don't get too close to that one. Okay. <laughs> Whoa and emus and goats and a scruffy little dog, which was the last thing I was expecting to see in a tiny mining town in the middle of Nevada. We said our goodbyes and set up camp for the night just out of town. And prepared ourselves for what would be one of the most isolated stretches of the trip so far. Today is Sunday the 2nd of April and today marks the day that it's officially hot enough to wear shorts and t-shirts. Let's go. In other news, we are carrying around 30 litres of water right now um, on our bikes, which is I think the most we've ever had because we've got a three and a bit day stretch to get to Death Valley. Um, and we need to get over that huge mountain somehow. So I've got a big bladder, two liters, four liters, six liters, seven liters, or water in my bottle. Victoria's got the same. Two, just a bunch of water, Thanks. bladder, bladder. I've got another bladder on the front. Now it's the time. Now is the time. Let's go. Is our first Joshua tree. Hey, it looks like there's a lot more up there.
today was a very tough day. I'm tired. It was a huge hill with 17% of elevation. Of uh, incline. Yes, and so sandy and we had to push a lot. But uh, I'm so thankful we're just here and we're gonna eat so much pasta and sleep like babies. What else can you ask for? Nothing. In comparison to the day before, today we felt like we were flying and we rolled into California with the strongest tailwinds we'd experienced on the trip so far. Whoa. Look at all these colors, so beautiful. In the last maybe two miles, the landscape has changed so dramatically. And I don't even know where to point the camera because it's all so unbelievably stunning. Welcome Death Valley National Park. We're here. We've been looking for a camp spot. Um, more than one hour already uh, but we we cannot find anything yet uh, it's very cold today and very windy and we know that if we just camp anywhere it's gonna be terrible like the wind will take the tent immediately so we were preparing for 60 mile per hour winds raging all throughout the night and it seemed to be coming from all directions so really, we would need to find a magical spot with 360 degree protection, which was unlikely. But then, I found something. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, Greg found this old water tank. It's quite nice. There's still a lot of wind, but it will be absolutely a help. Someone camped here before, looks like. Pero claro que hay un problema. It's rock solid. Okay, that's fine. Greg always sees the best of everything. So last night we ended up at this abandoned sulfur mine and let me show you the spot that we found okay, one, two. oh done Let's go. well done that was a good spot After our cozy night in the water tank, we enjoyed a nice long descent into the main valley of Death Valley. Some well-deserved tarmac after a very long time on pretty rough dirt roads. 
told Victoria to get the most cinematic shots she could get. That must be very cinematic. It's the most cinematic shot you're gonna see in your life. Quite sick, huh? Did you find them? Yeah. Whoa. What's up, guys? We're at Mezquite Springs Campground. Beautiful spot for the night picnic table. Also, we got a free beer. Beautiful. So, it's around nine months with this tent now, and all of a sudden, four out of the six zips have broken. So now the only way in is through Victoria's vertical zip. Arriving into Death Valley meant that from here on out, things would be a lot less cold. After all the trials and tribulations, we'd officially survived our first winter of the trip. And to celebrate, we had an incredible 50 mile descent into Furnace Creek. y con el viento por detrás. No hombre, pues ya no te acabes. Arriving into Furnace Creek was quite literally like riding into a desert oasis. We spent a whole day sitting around and enjoying our newfound summer. We were also very lucky to meet Jim and Hayden, who kindly offered us a much needed shower in their hotel room. Moving behind Furnace Creek and heading down into Badwater Basin. We're currently riding through Badwater Basin in Death Valley National Park and this is where the world record hottest temperature on earth was set. Today it is 34 degrees. I am loving it. Um, Victoria is very much not loving it but hopefully her body will adjust after a few days. Just a few days ago we were cycling in wind chills of minus five and to suddenly be in 35. It's a very big difference. Turned out Victoria was suffering a lot more than I thought. La verdad es que no me siento bien. He vomitado mucho. Si he tomado mucha agua, me estoy hidratando. Uh, pero... So we decided to call it a day early and set up camp. Heat stroke is definitely not something you want to run the risk of, so we decided just to play it safe, take it easy. And while she was resting up, I spent a nice afternoon fiddling around with the tent zips. Let's go. Yeah, okay, I'm never touching this zip ever again. <laughs> Today is a better day. Sometimes the headwind is good because right now it's hot, but the headwind is helping with some breeze. The next day, spirits were just about high enough to make it back to the pavement, and then we spent a nice afternoon in this incredible shady spot behind a bathroom. Our next challenge would be the huge three and a half thousand foot climb out of the valley, so we decided to tackle it the next morning when the temperature would be a lot more manageable. We went up a little dirt road and set up camp for the night. You need a nap? Just 
wrapping up around a three and a half thousand foot climb out of Death Valley and we are smoked. Oh my god. Oh my god, finally. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen. <laughs> After far too many sugary drinks, we filled up all of our water bottles for tomorrow's ride to Pahrump and then set up camp just out of town. Man, you look like a bug up on That's exactly where I am. <laughs> But like a very dirty vagabond. I've been in the desert for a long time. I'm burned all over. And I need a shower. I need a haircut. That's a beautiful shot, I would say. been trying to get up early to avoid the heat of the day. To Parump. Beautiful. After everything we'd been through, it felt really nice just to enjoy an easy day on the pavement to Pahrump. The time has come to say goodbye to my beloved boots that I bought in Whitehorse in the Yukon. They've served me very well, but it's simply too hot and they're starting to fall apart a bit. So, roll the montage. What are we looking for? BLM land. Somewhere over those houses. From here, we just had one deceivingly tough and rocky mountain pass between us and Las Vegas. So we are now headed towards Las Vegas, which is just over those hills. And we are very much looking forward to all you can eat sushi. Shot. Yes. What's up, guys? No, don't look at the camera. Tonight we're making pasta. <laughs> Who knew? Las Vegas had such beautiful pine forest so close. It smells amazing and it's uh, 
it's a lot cooler today. So yeah, perfect riding. Red Canyon, Red Rock, I see it. And after all that pushing, now came the fun part. But also cute. They are. They have so many men. Yeah. That's so many. Do you wanna come with us? Oh, you wanna come with us? Caterpillar. Yes. <laughs> successfully returned our tent for a $700 refund. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. I'm so cool. <laughs> I've seen my friends turn 